Hey guys, it's Tom Box here, and we are here with. Hey! Everyone! Everyone! <laughs> everyone. And of course, the man of the hour right now. What's your name? Uh, my name is Brian. Brian. And Han, of course, you are our YCS <laughs> Portland champion. And uh, what did you play today? Uh, I played the Sky Striker deck. Sky Striker? Why did you choose Sky Striker? Uh, I chose choices. Sky Striker because um, it seems like the deck that would have the best going first and second about equal. Um, uh, you can play hand traps and stuff, and I just thought it was the best deck to play. Are you going to continue playing this particular deck after the fall? Uh, most likely. Um, like I said, it's a really good deck, and I don't think it'll get like potentially that many hits in the future. Okay, okay. You know what? Let's just jump into your deck profile right now. Alright. Uh, this is the prize card. It looks really nice. Oh, let's take a look. Uh, I think it's beautiful. First of the, I guess, season, I guess? Yeah. Alright. Yep. And let's get started. So I play uh, three rays, uh, pretty basic. Um, before today, uh, so before uh, yesterday, I was doing secret ones and I just like never drew them. But these these are loyal, so <laughs> I use my Euro rays. Uh, for my hand traps, I played uh, three Ash Blossoms, uh, one Ghost Bell, and one Ghost Ogre. Um, Ash I thought was the best, and these two I was like having mixed feelings about. But um, I play one of each because they. They do come up sometimes, and if I have it, I have it, so... Did they come yeah. up for you in this tournament? Oh uh, yes, actually round one, um, wait, sorry, no, round two, I played against the uh, Naturia Exterio deck. Uh, I opened the stones, but he went, got to go first, and he, um, he had Exterio while I had, like, Engage, Multi-Roll, Terraforming, their Chameleon ones. Uh, so I couldn't really play the game, but I had, like, um, I had, like, a board presence of just race, so I didn't die that turn. And I was, like, drawing for... Yeah, that was game one too, so I drew for turn, I'm like, man, this better be the one Ghost Ogre for the exterior. I drew for turn, and it was the Ghost Ogre. Alright. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's how I won the, my second round. Yeah. And then, um, game two, he just uh, set and pass, and I just snowballed out of control. Yep, so those are the monsters. And then for my uh, spell deck, I played a uh, three engage. Um, shout out to Gage for swapping me when I needed it in the top cut. Appreciate it. So yeah, three engage, uh, three Widow Anchors. Uh, two airspace and two shark cannons. Um, I decided to play two because I think this is like the best one. Uh, this negates effects, so you get to play like with the opponent's deck basically, more or less. Uh, in the finals, I managed to take a harbinger to um, control the game, like um, negate a stronghold from killing all my monsters and um, potentially negating cards like Pot of Desires and like Call by the Grave and all that. Things so, yeah. you never thought you'd be saying in the first place. Huh? Exactly, and like <laughs> uh, prior to like this format, um, I used to say Dino Wrestler Pankratops, and like when you play against a dinosaur deck, you just summon the Overraptor, switch your own Pankratops, and yeah, you just use their, you just play their deck. Oh, and sometimes like if you play against ABC, you can just play Dragon Buster in your deck without the pieces. <laughs> and then for the other spells, I played uh, Multi Roll, uh, the best card in Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, I drew it like a lot. This, this card's am amazing. Um, Ego Booster, uh, Hornet Bit, uh, Base, Jamming. And afterburner. I basically just play one of each, except Vector Blast. Uh, pretty straightforward. And then for the other spells, I played uh, two Mystical Space Typhoons. Um, so prior to the event, I thought Cosmic Cycle would be better, but there were times where I just like need to bait out in the gates, and then once they think I have, they, they bait out everything. I can just air, uh, Space Typhoon my airspace and then go Ray Combo. Uh, so it comes up sometimes. Uh, the reason why Cosmic is better, even though it's bad in time, is because um, Dinguisu can actually protect your cards from being destroyed. And I just thought it would come up sometimes. It actually did, uh, which I'll probably explain later. And uh, two pot of desires. Um, this card is just like the best card ever. Um, in my top eight, uh, he ended on Master of Endymion, Dark Worm, and uh, Secret Village. And in my hand, I had um, a single effect failure with two pot of desires. And I'm like, the only way I can win is my pot of desires grabs Hornet Bit and a removal card. But I drew the um, removal card. I just needed to like bait out the Master of Endymion, so I normaled the Veiler. Which is a spellcaster, which has, uh, turns on all my spell cards. Um, so I activate my, my first pot of desires, and usually it's, you can sense weakness when they um, start desires and they don't have like uh, an empty main monster zone. So he negated the first desires, and I activate the second one, and I banished like um, all my bad cards and drew like basically the best cards in my deck. I drew um, Hornet Bit, so I crashed my um, Effect Veiler into his Dark Worm, and then I went Hornet Drones for Shizuku, and I just control the game from there. Um, yeah, and I also um, got rid of the Secret Veil, so I was. Um, I basically came out of a sticky situation with Bada Desires, so I really like this card. And for my other spells, I play uh, two goods and one Metal Flux Fusion. Pretty straightforward. Uh, one Reinforcements, one Terraforming, and one Upstart. These are like your power spell cards. Pretty straightforward. And the last traps, I've made uh, three Imperm and three Dare Chameleon one. 
Uh, I play a lot of hand traps, so my going second is actually okay. My going first is nuts against most of the format with their Chameleon one, so that's why I decided to play it. Uh, it's a 40 card main deck. I was gonna play 41, but I just thought 40 was just better with upstart. And for my extra, a uh, token. Uh, I play one Kagari, uh, three Shizukus, uh, three Hates, pretty straightforward. And I decided to play two Kainas. Uh, this was originally a barricade board blocker, but I found out like the times I'm, I'm summoning it, I'm either just losing or just um, winning so far. I'm, I'm just so far ahead that I don't actually need it. So the second Kaina, I just thought was nice. It came out like once or twice. I thought it was a good decision. Uh, one Nightmare Phoenix, uh, one Hida, this card is nuts. Um, when you play against Orcus and they start Hornet Drones, you're playing with basically three Kagaris. So, yeah. And then, um, the best card in my extra deck by far was Bomber Dragon. Um, when you, when you Hida monsters, usually it's a Link 2. So you can make Bomber Dragon that way. And then, um, yeah, most of the format just gets wrecked by Bomber Dragon, especially with multi roll set 3. Uh, Ningrisu, this outs like Master Vendamion and like Avermax and all that stuff. BLS. BLS Link, yeah, it happened once. Um, yeah, this, this is just really amazing. It, most of the time I've sent my, my dead metal fusion with it, but it just got rid of the problem, so it was really nice. Uh, Nightmare Unicorn, never made, but it's nice to have. Goral Sword, I'll never make it. I don't know. I decided to play it because, like, I guess it's in everyone's deck list, so I thought I'd come up, but never summoned it. The only time I actually got a Goral Sword somewhere was by Widow anchoring it, so. Yeah, 15 extra, and my side deck was like um, somewhat unique. Uh, there's no really spicy text, but like I guess the ratios are kind of interesting. Uh, I played three Lancias because I thought the Thunder deck would be uh, very, um, very big this weekend, but didn't really play that many. It was mostly for the Orcus deck. Um, I managed to get um, in a op in a um, game state where it's like we're just top decking. I had, I drew uh, Engage and I drew Lancia off the draw one, and then I just, I just won the game from there. Uh, two Ghost Ogres. This is really good against like everything except Element Great. Um, don't think I need to say. Uh, two Ghost Spell. Same reason Lancia. I just thought Thunder would be a lot more prevalent this weekend, and it also stops like Ghost Spell. And sometimes uh, when you need to find cards to side out, Ghost Spell is like a really good staple because Call by the Grave is a card, and it's just really good. I really like Ghost Spell, and the one Effect Veiler. Um, Honestly, for the most part, I could really just fit one. Looking back, I'd probably play more, but uh, it really did its job this weekend. Very happy. And then, uh, play three Twin Twisters. I actually never sighted this card in, surprisingly. Because um, I didn't play any Strikers this weekend, so yeah, that's just there for that. Uh, same as this, didn't really get it sighted in. And then, uh, the last card on my side deck is two Cosmic Cyclones. Uh, same reason as why I decided uh, I was going to play this over MST. Uh, because it actually baits out the climax from Orcus. And um, sometimes against Salamagra, you can end phase banish the trap card, and then um, they won't be able to set it off Sunlight Wolf, or Falco or Sunlight Wolf. So, yeah, that's why I played a Cosmic Cyclone. And that's the deck. All right. Any final shout outs you want to give out? Uh, yeah. Uh, first, I want to give a shout out to my uh, team, Team Royalty. Uh, we're from the San Jose area. Um, yeah, I also want to give a shout out to my friends, uh, my car, uh, Elvis, Kevin, uh, Andy, um, all my friends that helped me test, and my family, I suppose. All right, thank you so much, and congratulations for your YCS win. Thank you. And uh, are you planning to go to any other events? Uh, hopefully, maybe Pasadena. Pasadena? Yeah. All right, well, good. Guys, Congratulations. Look. Thank you. All right, look forward to seeing that. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up. Look for this sexy face at Pasadena. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, subscribe to these guys as well. Yeah, everyone. Everyone. Woo. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Congrats.